we cannot speak of a human being if there is no body. Our embodiment is a primary existential given. We have many reactions toward our literal body and a complexity of feelings about it. We may enjoy our body, dislike it, feel frustrated about it. We can look at it, touch it, we care for our body, we can mistreat it. One of our pitfalls in good and bad experiences is that we tend to identify with our body. Then we are our pain and we are this old woman. We identify with our sensations and our physical appearance. The most important change the experiential approach brings about is not that we pay attention to the body. The real paradigm shift is about our relationships with our body. The experiential approach holds a paradox. We turn towards our body, but we do not identify with it. By not identifying with it, we create some space around our body sensations. We approach our body from a new perspective by relating to it with friendly curiosity and compassion. And from there, something new can come. Another paradox is that we pay attention to our physical sensations, but we do not stay with these clear physical sensations. When, for instance, we break our leg, the physical pain will immediately warn us that there is something serious. But the body also uses more subtle levels of communication that may be harder to recognize. In order to understand this subtle body language, we need to slow down and wonder, how does this situation affect me? And then your body will answer if you pause long enough to hear it. Here, many of us feel lost. We are embedded in a culture that identifies with the physical body and ignores the subtle body language. Invitations to take time and to listen to our body seem strange and sometimes even threatening. Then it's more helpful to start with exploring a life issue and looking for a fresh body feeling about that issue. Whenever you notice a body feeling about a situation, resist the temptation to guess what it means. Instead, just describe and stay with what you are actually feeling. Your contact with what you are feeling will deepen slowly, as a sense of trust develops between you and your body's felt sense. More than words can explain, your personal experience will be your best resource to discover the wisdom of the body.